and a very warm welcome to our service of choral evensong from the Tunstall Chapel at University College in Durham. It is a great pleasure to welcome you in this way. Um, we are going to resume our services in person starting next week, the 18th of May. Um, so we'll have services in person on Tuesday, but we'll continue for a little while to have our pre-recorded services on Thursdays. Um, so we can have our guest preachers. We are immensely grateful to our choral scholars. And please don't forget if you want to be involved um, next year, if you're a student uh, in chapel, do please reach out as there are many ways you could be involved in the life of the chapel. Tonight we have very special precepts and responses from our very own Peter Rose. Again, a very warm welcome to you. Oh, 
The first lesson is written in Numbers, chapter 16, verses 36 to 50. This tells of the aftermath of the rebellion of Korah during the Israelites' travels after their escape from Egypt. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hallowed. The censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make broad plates for a covering of the altar, for they offered them before the Lord. Therefore they are hallowed, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Israel. And Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers wherewith they that were burnt had offered, and they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar, to be a memorial unto the children of Israel, that no stranger which is not of the seed of Aaron come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not as Korah and as his company, as the Lord said to him by the hand of Moses. But on the morrow, all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of the Lord. And it came to pass, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on incense and go quickly unto the congregation and make an atonement for them. For there is wrath gone out from the Lord, the plague is begun. And Aaron took as Moses commanded and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on incense and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living, the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were 14,700, beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. Here ends the first lesson. My
second reading is from Luke chapter 6 verses 39 onwards and he spake a parable unto them can the blind lead the blind shall they not both fall into the ditch the disciple is not above his master but every one that is perfect shall be his master and why beholdest thou the mote that is in the brother's eye but perceivest not the beam that is in thine own eye either how canst thou say to thy brother brother let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye, when thou thyselves beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull the mote that is in thy brother's eye. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit, for of, the, of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather they grapes. A good man out of good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I shall show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and digged deep, and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood it arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house, and could not shake him, for he was founded upon a rock. And he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Here endeth the second lesson. Lord, Judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Holy Amen. Amen.
The anthem this evening is With Prayer and Supplication by Amy Marcy Chin Beach. We Let us pray. We pray for the people in Jerusalem and more broadly in Palestine and Israel as the ongoing tensions are leading once again to open violence. We pray for all people working for peace and justice in the land on all sides, for those who recognize the abuse and injustices and make every effort to build better relationships. We pray for Israeli Jews, Israeli Arabs, Jerusalemites, Palestinians in the West Bank and occupied territories, and all those who self-identify differently and are trying to lead their land in the way of justice and of peace. As a Psalm 122 says, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, May they prosper who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue to hold in our prayers the people in India, praying for adequate medical support, for the medical staff, for the support of the international community. We pray for members of our community who are currently in India, or are from India and all and or have family and friends in India. Knowing that what affects India now affects us all as a global community. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On this rogation day, we pray for all those who are observing a period of fasting and prayer as we prepare for the celebration of Ascension this Thursday. We are particularly reminded that our Lord Jesus Christ ascended into heaven after he had risen from the dead and had delivered us from the bonds of death, that we may all be free. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Finally, we pray for all the members of our community in this exam period and all the students in Durham. We pray for all those who have had to ask for extensions, SACs, deferrals, for particular circumstances which have impacted their well-being and thus their studies. We pray for the departments and their staff for the particular workload at the moment. We give thanks for all the exams and submissions that went well, and we pray for a seminar for the weeks ahead. All this we pray for Christ our Lord. Amen. We conclude our prayers in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.
Thank you.